You really cannot beat the flavor of fresh chopped salsa. You can blend it in the blender, half of it, and get it nice and smooth, your garlic, your onions and tomatoes and cilantro, and then chop the rest to keep a nice texture and make it almost twice as fast. So I really love adding a red onion, avocado, cilantro, fresh tomatoes, a little bit of garlic and lime to my salsa. So the next thing just I want to show you is a way to use your Mexican cuisine spice. So I've just made a really simple fresh salsa here with cilantro, corn, black beans, uh, cut up red pepper, a little bit of red onion, and um, some tomatoes. And I'll just take a little bit, of, a teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of cumin to season this, plus some salt. And then to really infuse it with that good nutrition and flavor, I just take a little bit of olive oil and add five drops of my Mexican spice and I taste it. If it needs a little more, I add a little bit more to it before I add it in. So taste the oil, make sure it's where you want it to be, and then just pour it over your, your salsa and mix that in. And you've just got this wonderful, you'll, people will say, what is in that? A little bit of fresh lime, uh, cilantro oil, if you don't have enough cilantro or if you don't have lime, always use those as substitutes. So use your oils. They're great for you internally as well as aromatically and through your skin.